Hold on. The fuck me over for that one. Hey right, guys, this is Game Best Pod. I know I haven't been uploading as constant as blah blah flock 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 as it's consistently as I am supposed to be doing. Yeah, I'm just you know fucking lazy and don't want to. Well, I want to, but I don't have the energy to get up and download a video. So today we're going to be doing a try not to cringe challenge that I found. I will put the link to this to this I was gonna say to this description. I will put the link to this video in the description. I do not claim that I own this video. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. I cringe at a lot of stuff. So, oh shit! Fuck! Hold on. I forgot I had that on. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. All right. Hold on. I need to set this shit up right. Okay, let us begin this crap. I was gonna put a cancer in the butthole. God's gonna put a cancer in the butthole of every sodomite. Every sodomite's butthole will get cancer in the butthole. It'll burn and burn and burn. They won't be able to sit down because of the burning in their butthole. He can't sit down. He's got a burning in his butthole. He's got a fire. He's got a flame coming out of his butthole. God's gonna have a flame coming out of your butthole. You're going to have a flame coming out of your butthole. If you thought that AIDS was bad, you ain't seen nothing yet. What's a sodomite? That's like a genuine question. I don't know what that is. Genuine. Think about it. Oh, this is a story all the time. I'm gonna turn my life right upside down. I'd like to take a minute and tell you how I became a leader. That's yes. Oh, shit. So, uh, it's every time that I'm, like, barely start recording, she takes me. Answering questions of all sorts when a couple of bullies, they were up to no good. Started making trouble in my school, no good. My student got in one little fight and his mom got scared. I said, you go whatever slower to clear the air. Shit white people do. They're probably hoping that they're gonna get a fucking pay raise for this. That's what I'd want. Somebody told me, hey, do this for me. I'm like, you better pay me more for this shit. Oh no, not these things. Not these bullshit things. Not these bullshit things. You are no. There's a demon that's trying to destroy your life. Claim to be your husband. Damn! Just fucking smack her? That's what I saw. So I'm like, whoop! I make up. You know who Miranda is? You need God. to Google that shit. <laughs> oh, baby. I Daddy. I cringe at those who look like Barbies. I want to sperm more than anything. I would give my entire <laughs> life saving to have the sperm impregnate me. Wait a minute. What? I love Who is that guy? Who is he? Please, like tell himself. me. What do you want? I can see you in the reflection. Each video is because of... Uh, what? Hey. Hey, what? Hey. Hey, what? Get your hot place sucks! <laughs> I watch some of your videos, especially the one of Slither Slither Ayo. <laughs> Way back when. 
Jimmy Kimmel, we used to always say, uh, my apologies, Matt Damon ran on time as a joke because he couldn't get Matt Damon on his show. I have no idea how to get a hold of Rick Moranis. I, he's literally non-existent as far as Hollywood, as far as social media. I don't it know who Rick Moranis is. Anymore. So my only, it started off as a joke and then I kept it in there because I'm thinking maybe he has kids or maybe he'll watch YouTube one day. I have, you know, Rick Moranis, uh, Happy Birthday Rick Moranis where I'm simulating a blowjob for him. I have my Rick Moranis poem that I wrote for him. Um, I have so many Rick Moranis videos and I figured why not just say it at the end of each of my videos in the off chance that he does see it because you guys, I was having a little bit of a, um, a thing in my panties. You get it? You get it? Uh, I was wetting my panties watching Little Dibbles yesterday. Little Dibbles is without that my favorite, like definitely top five movie, but without that my favorite Rick Moranis movie. It is so freaking hot and sexy, and I honestly was like, I'm not even kidding. It is like porn to me. I honestly started I'm getting these crying. little tingles where you have to like squeeze your legs together really tight to kind of suppress them, and that's what was happening to me. And on Twitter, and I was just like, I literally <clears throat> just posted a picture of him and his like little bow tie at the end of the movie, and I was just like, Rick Moranis, please fuck me. What the fuck? Who is that guy? I asked a friend and he said it was Caleb Hiles, but it's not. It's, I, I'm pretty sure it's not Caleb Hiles because he's a singer. I think that guy's a gamer. I, please, if you know who that is, please, uh, tell me. Just kidding. Is your drumstick back? Get out, Can you creep. <laughs> Get out, stupid. So anyways, if you guys know who that is, please let me know. He seems like a really funny guy I want to watch. Let's keep going. What's the author? Um, he wrote the Misery book. Uh, let me see if I can find our system. Yeah, you better. Oh, give me one second. Let me find the computer over here. Okay. S-H-E-L-D-O-N. <laughs> Paul is his first name. Paul. Oh. He's such a sh a sh a sh Do you have it? Don't even question it. I looked it up in my system, but unfortunately I'm not coming across any any of the Paul Sheldon's books that we have here in the store. Would you like to see if I could order one for you possibly? Oh, you should just have Paul him Sheldon. here. He's very popular. Well, we're probably Paul just Sheldon? Most likely just sold out. Misery. Have you ever read the Misery novels? I'm They're not, very good. I'm not familiar with Misery. I'm more of a history kind of guy. How can so. you not know Misery? You work here. How can you not know? I, look, Paul Sheldon writes the Misery novel. They're very good. I'm looking for the latest one. Misery's Child. I really need that to complete my collection, and I really think you need to have that here. I don't, Misery. I don't have it in the store, but I could probably order it for you. I'm not interested in waiting. I've already story? waited a long time for the paperback to come out. Mi Paul Sheldon. Misery's Child. Misery. I, misery in France. Misery Betrayed. Misery in Love. You don't know any of these books? I what wouldn't kind know of, how to react to that What kind of cockatoo bookstore is this that you don't even know Paul Sheldon? <laughs> Paul Sheldon. Let me tell you something. I, I know how I react now. Cock a duty. His number one fan. And you can't be telling me that you don't have Paul Sheldon's books here. Isn't there anybody here? Oh, who knows about I forgot Paul about Sheldon? you. Look, yeah, I still have you. I was going to give you the jacket, but. I'm telling you. Oh, shit, biscuits. You're going to be in a bookstore when you don't know Paul Sheldon. When you've never read Misery. Misery is a Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me I ain't the sharpest tool in shed She was looking kinda dumb with her finger and her thumb in the shape of the nail on her forehead The years start coming and they don't stop coming Head to the rules and they hit the ground running Didn't make sense, not to live for fun Your brain gets smart but your head gets dumb So much to do, so much to see, so what's wrong with taking the back streets? I never know if you don't go, I never shine if you don't glow it's fun to stay at the hey now, you're an all-star, get your game on, go play hey now. I was gonna get into that one! Show on, get paid, and all the glitters <laughs> is gold. Only like shooting stars break the mold. <laughs> 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 
This is gonna sound really. Wait, hold on, let me see it real quick. This is sound like really, really racist, but I did not know they made black Barbies until last year. Like, true fucking fact, I did not know that. I thought Barbie was like. just making little blonde white girls. I apologize for that, but. Okay, it says when a seven-year-old can- It's because the fuzz! I have- look. Okay. This is a gift because I wasn't able to get my friend Jackie anything for her birthday, which was like four days for- Yeah. When's, when's Christmas? It was on the 21st, I believe. If I'm wrong, I feel like a bad person. But I got her a little bear. And I, that's what I'm using to hold the phone and the fuzz is in the way. All the furry fuzz. When a seven-year-old can pull. Let's see. Come on, girl, I love you most. Come to my crib and have a toast. That is why I wrote this song so we can dance all night long. I can be a superman. I'm the man with the planet. Time to make a dream come true. Have some fun with me and you. I can make your booty pop, booty pop, booty pop. I can make your booty pop, booty pop, booty pop. I can make your booty pop. much more accurately, but, oh, shit, 
Oh my God. Um, well, that does happen every once in a while. That can't be good. Uh, now, uh, should, is, is, are you done with that? Uh, then? Yeah, I'm done with that. All right. <laughs> Can't, apparently, we're, we're really done with that one. That I eat my ice cream with a fork. With a fork. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With some Biden genuine love. Remembering that God himself has established it by his means. By the high standard of love, God's wisdom gives marriage to promote goodness, happiness, and holiness. Not by whim or option, but as the foundation of the home. The generation of children in the perfect social order and... Ready? Harlem me! Booker T. Stevie Ray. You heard my brother. You put him in the hospital, and I had to go to parts unknown and find a new partner. Well, I found that partner. It's Smith Tottico. Come on in here, boy. Tell him what we're going to do to Stevie Ray and Booker T. You know what? We're going to take you out before you even get to the ring. We're going to go out drinking, partying, getting up and having all fun with all the hot ladies. Fuck you women. Oh, yeah. Good. <laughs> Plenty of fucking going on tonight. And guess what? We're going to screw you over. We're going to give you the, all the nasty-ass leftovers. And they're gonna, then what we're gonna do? You, well, we're gonna fuck the women again. We're gonna fuck them again. But guess what? All those nasty women, we just gave you a bunch of STDs. So you're so weak, we're gonna just beat your ass in the ring, break your legs, count one, two, three. And this is for you, Rick. We're gonna bury them. You got STDs. No, hell, not me. I'm gonna give them that. They're, 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 they have STDs, you know? Yeah, but if you got STDs, you gotta give it to them. No. You can't have not have STDs and not give it to them. Well, uh, no, you're, no, fucking, no. You're, you're just done with girls you're fucking and I'll stay away from them. No, no, we fucked the pretty ones. They fucked the ugly ones, remember? Okay. The ugly ones have their STDs. Okay. So you're cool. All you're, right. Yeah, we're all good. Book a team, Stevie Ray. You guys are going down. Yeah. Well, I guess it's official. We're now on Facebook. I really wasn't sure about this at the start. But then a friend of mine said something that just made all kinds of sense. She said, think of it more as a conversation. Who's Garth Brooks? What? I like that. Yeah. But I'm already finding out on my own. Finish. So it's wiping the walls out between you and me. And I really like that. It allows us into each other's worlds, right? I literally I don't know like who this. that is. I don't know who Garth Brooks is. Oh, Joe. When I think about things, I want to put <laughs> Got it. Slick stuff, neat stuff. But most of the stuff I want to post is going to be raw stuff like this. Oh! It's just who I am. <laughs> so this is truly a conversation. And I say, let the conversation <laughs> Ow. Ow. I'll give you a, I'll give you a uh, massage tonight. That was humiliating. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. It means the world to me. I will see you in the next video. Sorry, this ending is so abrupt. It's because I have to go where? Goodwill. We're going to go look for something at Goodwill because I'm on a quest for a certain thing. Yes. So, look. I will see I you guys later. Bye-bye.